it's Evelyn here and welcome. Today I have a coloring supply for you. Are you ready? Let's go. All right. So the first thing I want to show you is this pencil sharpener. I've been on a hunt for this type of pencil sharpener, a long point pencil sharpener, and I think I found one. Now, my hands have lotion. I greased them up before I got on. Let's check it out right quick. And I'm actually going to try this on screen for the first time. Okay, so this is it. It says it's for graphite pencils and charcoal or whatever. But you also can use it for Prisma pencils and other colored pencils in general. Now this is a long point pencil sharpener, which means that you're going to have a long point. And I actually like those types of points because I have a pencil lasting me for a long time after it's been sharpened. On the side, we have five dials here, which is cool. On the other one, I only have two dials, one for blunt and one for sharp. And that's it. We have blunt, blunt, kind of sharp, kind of sharp, and kind of to a point. But I'm going to test it out right quick with one of my Prisma pencils here. Okay, I see. You gotta probably do it backwards. Put your pencil in. Okay, I'm gonna hold it. I think I want this little point here. Okay, so I'm gonna sharpen. I'm holding the top. It is an easy, smooth sharpen. Unlike the other one that I own. Okay, and it doesn't take long to get it sharpened. It feels really easy. It's not rough like the other one is. Okay, I think I have it sharpened. Now, let's see. Okay, this is how it looks. Now, let me move on to my other items that I have, but this is a pencil sharpener that I got because I wanted to have a pencil sharpener that gives me a, a sharper point than what I was getting with the other one. Now this pencil sharpener cost $13.99 on Amazon. Moving on to the next item which are colored pencils. Okay, the next item that I have is Artisto colored pencils. I have a set of 72. These are the premium, rich and vibrant colors, blendable, soft lead. And I ordered these after I watched Coloring Bliss's video. She was actually doing a, I guess she was ranking some budget friendly colored pencils. And I think this one was number one. And I decided to go buy these. Now the cost of these pencils, they actually cost $29.99, but I used a little coupon and before taxes, they cost like $22.49. That's not bad for 72 premium pencils. Now this is what comes in the packaging. You have an Artisto colored pencils, little brochure here that has all of the colors here. It has a color chart. It talks about colored pencil techniques and also pencil grips while drawing the sharpness of the pencil they have the illustrations for that here and then step-by-step -step tutorials this is pretty cool see the world through an artist's eye what is this <laughs> okay wait a minute i can't open it oh this is a brochure inside the brochure it just shows you all of the products that they sell now Let's see how these pencils look inside. When I open it up, I see this. This actually has a list of all the colors. And I guess I can put them right here when I swatch them. That's pretty cool. And we have this plexi plastic covering. This little styrofoam on top. And here are the pencils on the top of the lid is a color chart here of all the pencils and then you can see how the pencils are all turned the same way you can see the name of the pencil and it has the number and it also has the colors i believe yeah it has the colors and the number of the pencil and let's take a look at these pencils here they are not round they are 
octagonal type of pencil. This is how it looks here. Let's check it out. Be doing swatches for these pretty soon. I can't wait to use them. So I have 72. And as you can see, they were already all turned the same way, which is very, very nice because you can just read the colors and the number. So we have some red, some oranges, little yellows, some greens. And take out this tray here. And then here is this tray. You have some blues, some neutrals or grays and blacks here. And then we have this. Now here are the browns and the pinks and purples and the skin tones here. It is 24 pencils in each tray. In a future video, I will swatch them and try them out with coloring something for you. I like the way it comes packaged and it has its own little tin <laughs> case, which I like. That's it. The next set of color pencils that I have to share with you is a brand called Kalur or Kalur. <laughs> I have 72 pencils in here. They are soft core. I bought these because of, I think, Bianca, because she said that she liked to use these pencils in her Kirby books. I hope I am remembering this right. I hope it was these pencils. But anyway, I went and bought these pencils from Amazon and I paid $11.87 plus tax for these, which I thought was a pretty good deal. On the back of the box are the numbers and the colors of each pencil. So, let me see what they say. They said that this is quite suitable for artists of all levels. We deserve your trust. Let's see what's in here. <laughs> Oops, uh-oh, uh-oh. Ah, okay. These are not in a metal tin. I thought they were. You have to be careful. Okay. So here they are, the 72 pencils. They just come like this. So I will have to put these in a little case. So these are the colors here. They are round, round barrel, unlike the Artisto, which are hexagonal. And this is a pencil here. It has color here and it has the color name. You can barely really see that because of the silver. And it has the color name and the number and now that's not a number that's actually the stars some type of plus the <laughs> stars so that has pink there and let's check out the colors so we have some greens some greens here some yellows oranges reds pinks purples and then we have some blues it looks like some metallics here yeah, black or whatever. That is it for these. I have to be careful with putting them back into the box. And of course, I will be trying these out at some point and sharing with you how I like them. Now, one thing you need to make sure of is that if you buy these in the box, I think there was one that I could have bought in the case, but I didn't do that. Now I'm wishing that I had bought the case instead of buying this because these will fall out. But I'll make sure I get me a case pretty soon for these pencils here. That is all I have. And yeah, see, you see they falling out. They are falling out. I didn't know, I guess I should have read <laughs> how they were coming. So that's it, the 72 Kalur Premium Color Pencils Soft Core. So moving right along to the next items. Up next, I have the Creative Markers from Sharpies. These are somewhat new. I bought these from Walmart and I paid about $19 and some change. Let's just say both of these were $20 a piece. I bought some brush tip markers and I also bought the Bullet Point markers. These are water-based acrylic markers. 
I'm gonna do is kind of test them a little bit. I won't be swatching, but I want to test them a little bit to see if there's a strong smell or anything like that because the Sharpie permanent markers tend to be highly scented. It has like a strong odor to it. But I'm thinking since these are water-based, they might not be as strong with the, the scent. So let me grab some paper so that I can do a little bit of playing around with these right quick. I won't be swatching these. I just want to pretty much see if they do have a scent. One thing you need to know is that after I had COVID, my smeller does not work as well, but I still can smell if it's really strong. All right. So I am going to take one out. And what I notice is that the bullet markers are a lot bigger than the brush markers. These are not, yeah, these are the same color. So this is the brush marker here, and this is the bullet marker. I'm gonna try the bullet marker first, and I'm gonna see how it works. This looks like it is a red. So let's see here. One thing that I noticed that is really, really smooth, and I guess acrylic markers are like that. I've never used acrylic markers. So I'm trying to, I do smell something, but I guess it more or less smells like paint. So this is how it looks, it's very smooth. I do detect some type of odor, but it's not like the permanent marker smell, so. I hope that helps <laughs> helps you foxy foxy i want to say foxy brown <laughs> well you know who you are you had asked me to let you know if these had a smell and it does have a scent but it's not like the permanent marker scent let me try the brush marker see right here how this is made and you can see the paint coming down like there's a little disc around it. I'm going to try the, the brush tip here. I'm trying to see if I smell anything. I can smell it, but it's not as bad as the alcohol markers, the permanent marker from Sharp. And I like how smooth that this is. It's very smooth, but there is a scent. It just doesn't have a strong scent here on the bullet tip here you don't really see those little discs that you see here this one is the brush tip and you can see how that looks here so we actually can see the paint in the pen on the barrel when we take the top off but you can't see that here with the bullet one so i think that the brush tip is something that i would use when i'm trying to get into small places on coloring pages. I have a set of 12 for each of them. They do have a scent. I'm starting to smell something, but it's not to the point where it actually smells like <laughs> those permanent markers from Sharpie. I just wanted to show you a glimpse of these markers because someone did ask me how they smell. So moving right along to the next few items that I have. I have some more acrylic markers. I bought the Arctic 32 colors set. These are the water-based acrylic markers and I bought these because of a YouTuber and her name is Linda B. Everybody that I mentioned in my video, I will link them in the description box. So if you want to go check them out, feel free to go check them out. Okay. I bought these because of her. She was coloring in the Mythographics Aviary book. And after she told me what she was using, I decided to head off over to Amazon and I picked these up. I ordered them. These actually cost $20.39. Here they are. This is how they come packaged. It has a nice little, oh, okay. It has a color chart on the back here. I wasn't expecting that. This is for reference only. It has the name of the color and it has the number on here. Also a card, a thank you card. Here are the acrylic pens. I guess they're stacked up here. Oh, okay. It comes out. <laughs> it's in a cardboard box, which I think is really good packaging. So this is how they look. These are water-based acrylic markers. 
this is the blue color and as you can see the brush tip marker is a lot finer than the other one that I showed you from Sharpie okay I have my Sharpie one and this is it here yeah this is a little fatter and you can see how the ink is in this one this is a little fatter I guess it's more exposed the brush is more exposed and I'm getting paint all on my hand where this one is not as exposed and it's a smaller point side by side okay this is Artix on the right and Sharpie on the left okay Sharpie on the bottom and Artix on the top. Sharpies is more exposed and it looks like it's fatter and the diameter is a little bit wider. It's a little bit wider brush. The Artix brush would be something that I would use to try to get into smaller areas. Oh, okay. That is the Artix one. I don't really smell much of anything <laughs> with this pen. Okay, so this is the Artic swatch and this is the sharpie and both of them the blues kind of look the same but it looks like the Artic is a little bit darker than the sharpie one i was trying to see if i could detect a smell with the sharpie there is a slight smell but it is not strong like you would find in the regular sharpie permanent markers i didn't detect much of a smell from the Artic. these are pretty long this one from Sharpie is kind of short. So that is it for the acrylic markers from Arctic. I actually like the way they came packaged, which is always a good thing. Up next, I have another set of acrylic markers. This time, these are kind of different. These are the Simp Tap. Artix acrylic marker set of 24. These are saturated, waterproof brush tip, and also strong coverage and bright. This is how they came packaged. Of course, there was some shrink wrap around it. I took it off so that I wouldn't have to take it off on camera. On the back of the box, it has the color chart. And also on the back of this box, it tells you how to use these markers i paid fifteen dollars and 99 cent and they are originally twenty dollars and 99 cent these are called like a valve type of marker pen and all that simply means is that in order to get the paint down the pen you have to to press the the valve so here they are i've already <laughs> tested one of them i'm going to pull out another one to show you how they look. So this is how it looks. The color of the paint pen is on the side here. You can see it. This is a clear space here. And the actual number for the color is on the top of the cap, J233. It doesn't have any paint on it just as of yet. I'm going to bring the paint down. But first, I have to shake this pen give it a good shake it's kind of similar to a Posca pen I think you're shaking it to kind of give this paint a good mix because I noticed that it does settle separate you have to give it a good shake all right so now what I'm going to do is take the top off and I'm going to press the top this cap here the valve I'm going to press on it and you see that paint just came down okay and it's what it's doing is saturating the brush tip and I probably need to push it a little bit more to get it to come down the brush and one more so now the paint has saturated the brush tip and I'm going to do a quick swatch of this. This is a swatch of the brown and the blue. I'm also going to do this one here. It does not bleed through. It's not supposed to. Okay, it doesn't. This paper is fairly heavy. This is how it looks. One thing that I noticed about these, and I'm getting it all in my hand, about these 
acrylic pen markers is that they have like a little bit of a shine to them as compared to the Sharpie. The Sharpie doesn't really have a shine. It's more of a matte finish, whereas this one has a little bit of a shine to it. That's what I noticed. Even with the regular Artix acrylic pen that I showed you, this is that one here. It has a little bit of a shine, but this Sharpie looks a little bit dull. Just the regular Artix pen that I showed you at first. So that is it for the Simp Tap. I am going to keep these markers in this original packaging like this, and I think I should be good to go. Up next, I have some paint brushes. Well, these are nail art brushes, and I ordered these because of Bianca. Hey, Bianca. <laughs> I've been watching Bianca's videos and I am learning so much from her. These are nail art brushes that she says she uses when she uses her gouache paint. So I ordered these from Amazon. These cost about $4.99. They came in a nice little box, but I don't have the box anymore. <laughs> these are by Savaland and they cost, as I stated, $4.99 from Amazon and you can see the brush tips here nail art brushes usually are small so that they can get in there and do what they have to do so i have one two three four five six six brushes here for 4.99 that i'll be using when i use my gouache paint i also have another paint set that i think Bianca recommended somebody asked her in the comments like what do you recommend and she linked to this one Bianca I encourage you to sign up for Amazon affiliate because I wanted to like buy this through your link <laughs> and give you some commission these are the miniature paint brushes that she recommended and as you can see these are some miniature paint brushes for sure I think these are, I think a nine piece, nine set. Let's count, I don't know how many they are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. These are Kiosen and they have the number on each brush. I think these numbers are for the size of the brush. These are my little miniature brushes that cost $9.99 I ordered from Amazon. And as you can see, you can see how small they are and then they get bigger as the number increases and that is all of the brushes that i ordered from amazon i have one more item to share and i will be out of your hair and the last item that i have is the hemi gouache paints i have 24 colors in here when i first saw this on amazon let me back up when i first saw bianca using this in her videos i thought that this case was small but it's not small this is my hand and i have a small hand this case is much bigger than i thought it was i thought it was like half of this i thought it was like this not like this <laughs> it's fairly big so i have 24 colors i ordered this on amazon because of miss bianca and this set cost me 23 dollars and 97 cents it is priced originally at $29.99. This is gouache and it is safe, non-toxic. It says innovative design, washable, bright colors, silky and smooth, quick drying. And this is how they look here. Kind of like a jelly type of paint. And on the back of here, there is the color selection. It has the expiration date. Take this off now this is the first thing that i see here all right set this over to the side here have a card with the colors of the gouache on them and the name as well as the number and actually this is the order that they are in here as you can see i have my 24 paints in here it also comes with the brushes i have a smaller brush here another little brush in this square brush comes with three brushes this little thing here that i guess you could probably use to 
dibble and dabble and work your paint in if you want. Now, let's take a look at the gouache here. We have a Hemi gouache. It has the color and the name and the lot, 30 grams. And as you can see, this is the color that is here. And this is the name of the color. There we go. So this is the color. It starts with the letter P, and I don't know how to say that. I kind of know how to say it, but I don't want to jack it up. One thing I like about this is that they do have the colors in the same order that's on the card here. It's also the same order here in the case, which is cool. Let me pull out another one. It's kind of hard to just pull out one there. Then we have this one here, which is pale purple, and this is pale purple here. The name and the lot number, and that is pale purple. I am going to have some fun trying to <laughs> use these. I'm glad I got them because they look like they are so cool and fun to use. And if it wasn't for me checking out my buddy, Miss Bianca, I probably would not have learned about these. I didn't even know they exist. So it's a jelly type of paint that looks like it's pretty fun to use. This case has some weight on it because we have 24 colors and each of the colors, they are 30 grams a piece. So you do the math as far as how much this weighs. This gouache, it looks so cute and I cannot wait to try it out. That is all I have to share with you. If you have any questions or comments, put them in the comments section and I will be down in the comments to engage with you. If you have used or tried any of the supplies that I have shared with you today, let me know. Let me know how you like them, how you have used them. Yeah, just let me know, all right? Thank you so much for watching and until next time, keep coloring. Bye.